I just wanted to show everybody a simple little tip that I just learned about. Um, I have a Chrome browser open here right now, um, so that's not the important thing. What I want to show you is up here in the in the menu bar. Um, in the menu bar, you've got your sound little volume icon right here, and if you hold your option button down and click on it, you can now change what it's going out of. So I have a speakers hooked up. If I want to listen to what I'm um, listening to through iTunes or anything else through the headphone jack, which in my case is hooked up to some speakers, or if I want to play it through, if I don't have anything, the headphones, I'll take those out. That'll change to be the built-in speakers, uh, internal speakers. So I could play it through my internal speakers. I have a, a USB headset on right now, so I want to hear through that and it's also taking as an input device Logitech USB headset. So this is a really cool little feature but it only if you only click on the volume button you you get this uh, volume adjuster but you want to hold the option button down and then click and you get this. Um, you want to make sure that that volume is showing up here and if you don't see that volume icon go down to your settings system preferences which is the gray bar box with the gears in it open that up and you'll see a little sound area which is this speaker right here and you click on that and now you want to make sure that it's, it's uh, show volume and menu bar is checked if that's not checked you won't see this I'll uncheck it you see that I have no volume option up here if I check it I have volume now um, disregard all the other stuff you see up here. I'm a power user so I have a lot of stuff going on on my computer. You might show a lot less than this. Don't be disconcerted by that. It's just that I've got a lot more showing. So um, speaker, hold the option button, click on it, and you can quickly change the output or input. Otherwise you, in, in Leopard or previously you have to go into this system preferences and change it from within here which can be a real problem. Uh, it's just a lot of extra steps. Here it's just really handy. Option click, make a change. There we go. Hope that's helpful.